Hi everyone and welcome back to another video from your friends at the Ultimate Tech Hub. And we're back with another Ultimate Review. So today, we're gonna take a look at this tri-band Wi-Fi 6 mesh system. And this model is the AX6000. And because this system uses Wi-Fi 6, it should be faster, more stable, and yes, more secure. But how fast is Wi-Fi 6? Well, we're gonna find out at the end of this video. And this system uses simultaneous tri-band Wi-Fi, which uses three radio signals. One 2.4 gigahertz band, and two 5 gigahertz bands. And it also contains a quad-core processor at 2.2 gigahertz. And this system contains eight high-performance internal antennas. So what do you get with this system? Well, first you get a user guide, and this user guide is very extensive. Everything from setting up your router, using the app, and even troubleshooting. Pretty cool. And FCC compliance card. Okay, this appears to be the sub router or secondary router. And this is the main router or primary router. And you can tell because it has the yellow WAN connection. And you get two power supplies for the routers. Both of the power adapters are 12 volts, three and a half amps. And remember, if you have any questions and or comments, please leave them in the description below. And this box also contains a two meter ethernet cable. And guys, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and share it. It really helps our channel. Thanks. So guys, this is everything you get with the AX6000. You get two mesh Wi-Fi routers, two power supplies, an ethernet cable, and a user guide. Okay, on the main router is the DC power connection, a WAN port, four LAN ports, a sync button and reset and once again take note this is called the main router we're gonna set this up first so my first initial thoughts on this router it's pretty big it's got a nice logo on the front and the silver and black is pretty nice and it should blend in with most environments now this is the sub router you have a DC power connection and four LAN ports, a sync button, and reset. And once again, take note, this is the sub router. You'll set this up after the main router. As far as the look and the appearance, this router is exactly the same with the logo placement and the silver and black colors. All right, now it's time to set everything up. And there's two ways you can install these routers. The first method, is to connect the main router via the WAN port to your modem. The second method, which we'll be using, will connect the WAN port to a LAN port on our existing Linksys router, basically extending our Wi-Fi coverage. For the purpose of testing and reviewing, I'll place the main router next to our network panel, and then I'll put the sub router in our family room next to our PlayStation 5. So the first thing you wanna do is download the Elfkiss app from the Play Store or iTunes. At this point, while the app was downloading, I connected the main router to the power supply, then connected the network cable from the WAN port on the main router to the LAN port on my existing Wi-Fi router. And at this point, simply follow the app instructions. Now connect your phone to the default Wi-Fi of the main router. On the bottom of the main router, there's a label with the SSID name. You want to connect to that SSID. Now let's go ahead and set up the mesh Wi-Fi system. At this point, I recommend changing the SSID name. I used Ultimate Tech Hub, and that's a pretty good name. And now, set up your password, and make sure to write this down somewhere so you don't forget it. And now the app will ask you about the sub router. If there's a blue saw light, you're all good to go. Now, once we're connected, Let's check the sub router. If the light is blinking blue, 
you'll need to move it closer to the main router. At this point, I'm going to test how far I can move the sub router from the main router. And this is especially important for larger homes. This location for the sub router is the furthest point in our home from the main router. And we have a blue solid light. And that's great news. So now, let's test the speed of the Wi-Fi 6. And just a heads up, we have one gig fiber from our ISP. And it looks like our download speeds are around 700 megabits per second, which is simply amazing. The speed and stability of this mesh Wi-Fi system is outstanding. And the app is easy to use. In the settings menu, there's Wi-Fi settings, guest network settings, network settings, parental controls, detect Wi-Fi signal, system settings, and firmware updates. And the best part about this app is that you're able to monitor your upload speeds and download speeds in real time, as well as connected devices. So whether you're buying this mesh Wi-Fi system as your main router for your network, or adding additional Wi-Fi coverage to an already existing Wi-Fi network, this mesh Wi-Fi system is great. This system is easy to set up. So even if somebody's not tech savvy, this still is an easy install. And the app is very user friendly with lots of options. But most importantly, the Wi-Fi 6 coverage is superb. It's lightning fast, very stable, and yes, more secure. The only downside to this system is the size of these routers. They're pretty large, which means these routers may not fit in many situations, like small bookshelves or a small nook. <laughs> but really, that's the only downside to this system. Otherwise, this mesh Wi-Fi system is great. And we absolutely recommend this system. In full disclosure, this product was provided for free for a thoughtful and honest review. And guys, I want to encourage you to visit my Patreon page where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. And for every new member, we do a personal shout out in the very next video. And guys, remember, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.